Hello everyone, my name is Chrissy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another lipstick video for you guys and today we're gonna take a look at some of the Burberry lipsticks that I have in my collection. Um, I have tried um, a few lipstick line from Burberry. The Burberry First Kiss Lip Balm, which I don't have here with me today, but I have tried it on. I could just speak a little bit about it. Uh, the Burberry Kisses, the Burberry Kisses Sheer Lipstick, the Burberry I think the name is Lip Velvet Matte Lipstick and the Burberry Lip Lacquer. So those are the line that I have had a chance to try on. And if you are interested in Burberry lipstick, and I hope that this video is helpful for you, without further ado, uh, let's get started. So first thing first, the packaging of Burberry lipsticks is always very luxe. And uh, generally a lipstick come in this kind of shape. I think that these days they come in golden color, but I don't have that. I just have the old packaging and it come with magnetic closure, just like you close it and like that. Um, except for some of the line, like the glosses and the lip lacquer and the um, lip balm that it doesn't have this kind of closure. The lip balm, I believe that it comes in a tube because I've gone through like a few of them already. Um, that the name is Burberry First Kiss, Kiss Lip Balm and the shade or the color that I've gone through like three or four of them is called Sweet Plum and I love that formula like their formula the Burberry lip, lip lipstick or lip balm formula is generally very very comfortable to wear and very hydrating um, they don't cause my lips to dry or to peel or any kind of allergic reaction so that's why um, I swear by Burberry lipstick formula uh, that is for the Burberry first kiss lip balm now the one that I have a few colors here which is also from my favorite line from Burberry is the Burberry uh, kisses sheer so I have three colors here to show you guys today uh, number 277 tea rose number 217 yeah, number 217, English Rose, and number 281, Cedar Rose. So those are pretty much, give you a kind of an idea of what kind of shade or color I um, am interested in. So let's jump right into the color of these lipsticks. So now I'm gonna try the number 217, um, English rose on my lips for you guys to see. I uh, just keep in mind that my skin tone is medium with warm undertone and this color is this color is like um, a very light pink with a hint of brown. It is a perfect color for everyday use and it looks this lipstick is like my lips but better uh, with a touch of pink. So I'm going to quickly try it on my lips for you guys. I don't know if it show. So this is number 217 um, English Rose. And this is a color on my lips as well. I really like it because somehow it looks quite neutral on me. Um, I have a very, very warm undertone and this lipstick just like keep it, like there's still some color on my lips, but they're not like too bright that call for attention. So that's why I really, really like this color. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to wipe it off and we're gonna try on another color for you guys. The next color we're gonna try is Tea Rose number 277. This is my favorite, favorite color from this line of Burberry. And I have gone through, I believe, like this is the third one 
This is the third one that I have gone through. I'm considering how many lipsticks I have in my collection and I've gone through three of them. Um, you can see that this color is very, very well loved. Um, the color is like a light medium plum color. Uh, it looks a little bit darker as compared to, let me see, tea, English Rose. So this one is English. Okay, this one on my left side is English Rose, which we've just seen. And this one is Tea Rose. So you can see that Tea Rose is much, well, a little bit darker, but less pink than uh, English Rose. English Rose is a lot more like pink pink, like I don't know if it's baby pink, but it's a very beautiful pink, okay? And this one is Tea Rose. It's um, It has a, a kind of like nude blush kind of pink. But it's like blue undertone. I believe that is blue undertone. That's a word tried, that I'm trying to use to describe it. So light to medium, I'm just gonna try it quickly on my lips for you to see. I'm gonna get closer. So this one is number 277 T Rose. I'm just going to quickly swatch it here. 277 T Rose. Okay. I'm just going to wipe it off now and we move on to the third color. That we have. I really like this color. You know, lipstick is something very, very personal. Sometimes it looks really good on somebody, but it doesn't mean that it looks good on you. So you have to try it on uh, to find the right lipstick or yeah, the right lipstick color for you. And um, that's why I've got like a lot of pictures that I have seen on Instagram. People look so good with something. And when I try it on, it's not for me at all. So that's why I'm trying to show you here. Hopefully that can help you if you have a very similar skin tone like mine. Maybe that's something if you like, to, if you like what you see, maybe that's something you can try it on. Okay, um, I think it should be good. My natural lip color is a little bit pink. So I think that we try our best. So the last color that we have is a more recent color that I add to my collection. Um, because that day I remember that I went to Nostrom um, to pick up a backup for my T Rose lipstick, then I saw like they have this one. I tried it on. I said, like, "Oh, it's not. It doesn't look too bad." And at that time, they do not have um, T Rose in stock, so they introduced me to this one and saying that this is more like an alternative. Trust me, it's not exactly an alternative. So I came back another day for T Rose, but this one's still a very be beautiful color too. Um, okay, number 281 Cedar Rose. This is how it looks. Um, maybe in your mind you think, oh, Chrissy, they all look the same. No, they don't look the same. Uh, let me just show you here quickly. Ha. So this one is T Rose and this one Cedar Rose. They don't look the same at all. So T Rose look a little bit darker in a way ah i'm out okay t-rose looks a little bit darker in a ways and the um cedar rose it kind of had a little bit like kind of pink touch in it as compared to t-rose so i'm gonna try it on for you guys to see uh cedar rose 281 
you know what this one actually reminds me of um some sophisticated french girl um looks so elegant with like an effortless look this is the one and that's why i picked it out it's a little bit darker somehow maybe i over applied it but i really like the look on me and um yeah i don't know not everybody can wear this color though because i have a cousin who really loved this color on me she asked me if she can try it on her and when she tried it on her it totally looked like she's gonna go to an event or something like it looked quite formal on her but on me it's not exactly my lips but but better color but it's um it gives me a hint of color uh, but at the same time it's still very muted very natural in a way that i really really like burberry kisses share is a collection of about 28 lipsticks that offer balm light hydration with the color saturation of a lipstick uh, retailed for i believe 38 canadian dollars and i am a huge fan of this Burberry lipstick line because this is so lightweight, so hydrating, which is amazing for my dry lips. Um, the consistency, like I said, is very creamy, very balmy, and moisturizing over time. The three colors I have here is number 277, which is, uh, I believe, English Rose. Is it English Rose? Yeah, I have so many roses. Okay, T, uh, T Rose. 277 yeah t rose 27 t rose 277 so t rose 277 is a nude blush color with a blue undertone um english rose 217 is um a very very beautiful my lips but color uh, but better color uh, number 281 Sarah rose which is the color on my lips right now it is a moderately warmed warm toned uh, medium mauve with pearlescent sheen it has a i believe this one is the only color that has shimmer and it has like a very beautiful fine shimmer that gives you a very luminous look that is not glossy well it's a little bit glossy a little bit pearly but it was not like frosted or uh, metallic the pigmentation is beautiful it can give you um a medium to full coverage if you apply a few layers on it and uh, the consistency like i said is very balmy like and so i really really enjoy lipstick from this line of burberry so these three shades are probably the furthest that i could go or i would venture toward uh, nude or neutral um, colors uh, because anything lighter than this probably would not complement my skin tone or would make me look ill so those are the three that i always come back to burberry to pick up more whenever i run out now the next line i would like to talk about is the burberry kisses lipstick uh, this line is actually a lipstick line not like a balm or like a sheer color it is a lipstick line so it offers more pigmentation as compared to Burberry Kisses Sheer. Uh, supposedly uh, less hydrating or less balmy, but I find it's very, very hydrating as well. Of course, it's less hydrating for sure as compared to Burberry Kisses Sheer, but it's still very, very hydrating. Now, the only one color I have here to show you guys is Sur Serbia. No, not Serbia. It should be Sepia sepia number 85 this is the very first color that i was introduced to burberry lipstick uh, lipstick i fell in love kept coming back um somehow i got like one like a tester here but uh, i need to pick up the full size of it because i ran out and um i used all of it so then that's why i don't really have it to show you but um this one is a very very first Burberry lipstick that I try on and I fell in love and I picked up full size and I went through like two of them and so now I'm out of it and I have to pick up new one no okay so just bear with me I am just going to I am just going to
Okay guys, so this is sepia, sepia number 85 or um, in the line Burberry Kisses. Just gonna show you quickly how it looks. Yeah, I know. I should have picked up a new one before I do this video, but it's okay. As long as I can show you the color. This color has been my favorite since I tried it on. Yeah, I should I should have picked up a new one. So number 85 sepia is a more like a rosewood kind of color. Uh, it has a buttery texture, very lightweight, still very hydrating. Of course, it's not as hydrating as the Burberry Kisses Sheer, but it has a better lasting power than the uh, buttery, buttery, uh, than the uh, Burberry Kisses Sheer. So lasting power, better than the other one. Hydrating, not as hydrating, but still very hydrating, especially when my lips are very dry but you don't see that it looks so dry on my lips and if you pay attention i did not apply a lip balm before i applied this lipstick so if it still feel very comfortable on my lips it means that it's very very hydrating too uh, i'm just gonna come, come very closer so for you to see the color better This is the color of the swatch on my hand. Burberry Kisses lipstick has a very faint kind of rosy scent, but fades away very quickly after you apply it. It doesn't give you a very glossy look, a little bit of glossy, uh, but not shiny at all. Um, as compared to Burberry Kisses Sheer, Burberry Kisses lipstick, I believe that they are less glossy less shiny as compared to Burberry Kisses Share, and the pigmentation is there so you don't have to worry about pigmentation and stuff as compared to if you like hydrating but you don't and you don't want it to be so shiny and you want to have a little bit more um pigmentation while having some hydrating Burberry Kisses is for you so um I really really enjoy it to be honest with you this is a very very first color that I tried from Burberry Kisses. I fell in love and keep coming back for it. So uh, if you have medium complexion like me and you like um, kind of rosewood color, then you should try it. The next one I have for you today is Burberry Lip Lacquer. I only have one color, which is number five, a fawn. And by the look of it, can you do you see it's beautiful though like or just me like it looks beautiful packaging wise it has a beautiful burberry line on the cap and the cap comes like in a matte material the body is a frosty kind of color and it looks so chic or chic chic kind of packaging now the color i'm just gonna show you quickly number five fawn on my hand here the color is to die for, like especially when it comes to um, fall, autumn, or when it's colder month. This is a beautiful color for it. I have seen so many people look gorgeous, gorgeous with this color. Now, and that's the reason why I want to try it, even though it's a lip lacquer, it looks kind of like, it looks very creamy, but I don't think it looks very very hydrating by the look of it uh, i can kind of feel it it's not very hydrating but like when people apply it it looks so creamy and no streak mark or anything on their on their lips so i decided to try it on i was debating between this color and another color i don't remember the number but it's named like dark rosewood or something i have had a, a, a few rosewood kind of shade in my 
um, collection so for me rosewood is more like a safe bet but i do not have anything similar to this color and look at this the color is so beautiful by the look of it so so i decided to try this one i'm gonna show you quickly how it is on my dry lips okay dry lips and i'm just gonna come very close How do you guys like this color? So honestly, the color is beautiful, okay? The formula, it's very creamy, not, not heavy at all. It feels so lightweight, like you're not wearing anything on your lips. But the problem with this is that in person, it actually settled into my lines, into the line of the lips. So my lips look totally dry. Yeah, my lips look so dry in person. So yeah, I don't know. I really, really like the color, but something in the formula doesn't work for me. Even when the color is so beautiful, what can you do? The formula doesn't work for you, but the the color is so beautiful. If somehow you try it and it works for you, good for you. Get more colors because I love the colors from this line. Um, I like fawn, I like rosewood, and one more color. I forgot the name, but they're kind of similar, kind of like dusty pink, mauvey pink, rosewood kind of pink. Those are the color I like and uh, Burberry just have a lot of those shades so too bad the color is beautiful but the formula doesn't work for me so from the look it looks okay it doesn't look so bad but in person it actually settled into my lines it's still very hydrating very comfortable to wear don't get me wrong by the look of it it looks dry but it doesn't feel dry so I don't know if there's something with the formula or something with my lips that they do not like the formula. But um, I'm going to take it off. Oh, I really like it. Uh, the color, but no, the formula is not for me. So this is number five, Fawn from Burberry Lip Lacquer. Yeah, not for me. Very, very, uh, it settles so fast into my, in the line of my lips. Okay, so. So the next one I have for you guys, which is also, it's like a tester. I will not plan, I'm not planning to buy a full size of it. I just have it with me. You see the little Burberry here on the cap. Um, it, they don't have the same one for, oh, actually they do. Um, the same one here, this is full size. This is small size for uh, kind of tester or something. So this one is Burberry Lip Velvet Matte Lipstick. With matte lipstick, I'm not usually a big fan because my lips are dry. And even though I love matte look, um, my lips cannot tolerate it. So I only have one color and this is the red. And that's why I save it for the last because I know that if we put on a red lipstick, we probably cannot try any other color. Um, this one is number 429 military red. It is one of very, very popular red from Burberry. And this is a very um, classic red. Looks beautiful. I think it looks like a blue undertone red, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna try it on for you guys to see how it is on me. Um, 
I used to use a lot of red lipstick when I was a little bit younger, like at my mid twenties. And now I'm like, uh, I'm going for more like mauvey pink, light pink, you know, like these kind of pink. They're like my favorite now. Uh, red, I don't go for it a lot, except when I go to like an event, an occasion, like wedding, birthday, something like that. But I'm gonna try the military red for you guys to see. Very, very similar to the Burberry Kisses. Um, Burberry Lip Velvet Ma uh, Lipstick. Yeah, Lip Velvet Vel. <laughs> Lip Velvet Matte Lipstick also have a very faint kind of rosy scent, uh, but it fades away very quickly, so you don't have to worry about it. But the scent is, is very pleasant too, so I don't mind it at all. Th this is Military Red. 429 from Burberry and this is a swatch of it um, I know that Burberry has another lipstick that is very very popular it's called I think Ox Blood something like that I think that one a lot of my friends own one um, I just don't really go for a red a lot so and I think I have a pretty good um, number of red lipstick already in my collection so I don't want to try it but I'm not sure if ox blood is actually red but anyway how do you like it I think it looks pretty uh, for an event but for if it for daily use I think it's a little bit too much it calls for a little bit too much of attention than my liking so it's not really something that I use every day but for sure um, whenever I go to a wedding an event that is one of the consideration that I have and even though it is a matte lipstick it's so comfortable to wear like it's it's very very lightweight buttery kind of texture which is something that i really appreciate because people with dry skin dry lips like me um not all of the matte lipstick that i can try on or they i can tolerate it but this one is very very beautiful feels so good on but yeah longevity wise these guys Burberry Kisses Sheer. They last on me for a good three to four hours without eating though. Um, and if you, if I drink, then I drink through a straw. So these three last on me for a good three to four hours. Uh, Burberry Kisses and Burberry Kisses last on me for a little bit longer because Burberry Kisses has a little bit more pigmentation, less hydration, but still very, very hydrating. So it lasts on me for a good like four to four and a half hours. Now with this one, the uh, Burberry Lip Lacquer, um, I tried on, I think it lasts on me for, for a while, like for the entire evening that I'm eating and drinking, but it lasts on me um, until almost the end. Then you kind of see the kind of stain on my lips. Um, but then I don't really wear it a lot though, like just a few times that I want to try it on. Uh, this guy is the one that I have on me that is number 429 Military Red from Burberry Lip Velvet Matte Lipstick Line. And this guy has a great, great, great pigmentation. Like it lasts on me for the entire evening. Um, and even when it fades away, it fades away beautifully, like not just like leaving one part of your lips with the color and the other part just has no color at all. It's actually very evenly fading. So um, that is something we always appreciate, especially when we have red lipstick on. Uh, that's it for my review, guys. And recommendation wise, if you're looking for daily lipstick, Burberry 
kisses share or Burberry kisses uh, should be your choice. Um, if you are comfortable comfortable with the line lip lacquer, I would I would recommend you to give it a try. Try it on because the color in the line is beautiful. Like it's kind of a little bit matte in a way, but it's not too matte. But the formula is still very, very creamy. So try it on to see if the formula works for you. Um, if it works for you, lucky you, get some more color. Um, Burberry Kisses, oh no, this one not Kisses, Burberry Matte Lipstick. Um, it's more like an occasion lipstick. So I don't know, whenever you need one, then maybe you should pick one. Um, I normally don't really go to a lot of events especially after the pandemic and stuff. So Burberry Kisses Sheer and Burberry Kisses are usually my all-time favorite. The other Burberry line, which is the Burberry First Kiss Lip Balm, which I mentioned earlier on in my video, that one is really good too. But now I believe that one is retail for 28 or something, 28 or 26 Canadian dollars. And I don't think it's worth it. It's beautiful though, like the texture, the consistency, the color, it gives you a light color, sweet plum. It's beautiful for like going to work. You don't have to worry about like, oh, you need a mirror. That one is the one that you don't need a mirror to apply. You just apply it. It just, it looks beautiful on your lips. Uh, but I don't think it's worth it to spend like $26 for it. And it goes, like I go through it so quickly. So it's quite co costly or expensive. And that's why I just go for like something simple like this bioderma i think nine bucks or something and this is what i have like all over my place i have like five or six of them and it cost me like 40 bucks for five or six of them i think nine 45 dollars and i got like five of them around one in my purse one on my makeup vanity one in the on the kitchen counter um yeah Instead of spending like $26 for only one lip balm that I always have to carry around with me. Um, besides, sometimes I don't want to have a color on my lips when I'm just at home. So then that's why I don't really get another um, lip balm from Burberry anymore. But they are good good quality. Anyway, that's it for my review, guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will try my best to get back to you. Um, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.